Back to the top for Marine Cabarou, this young French woman. The woman that won the last three World Cups of 2020. Third in the technical parts yesterday in that qualifying run out of all the uh, riders. Takes the long way round in the rocks, Claudio. But Karen, very good speed. Look at this pitch, she's going through those rocks. That's insane. And she was, have you seen under the start, she was actually pedaling all around the first turn. Now Ninth that's some commitment right there as well. Ninth at the World Championship, snatches a uh, tear off across. Gives herself better vision as she heads back into the trees now where she'll need it. Is she going to go for this big jump? She's going to go inside her. I don't think she's going quick enough. No, she is oh, having a go. Is. Oh, takes it, but still got those pedal strokes in. On the face of it, and made it up and over there. Seven seconds, Seven? nearly eight seconds. Well, this is what we expected to see from Cabo. Didn't fire, actually, at the World Championships. Not many of the uh, big favourites did. But a good run, fourth here in 2019. Well, it feels like the season has started now, after, after Worlds from last week, where you know, we didn't quite know how committed the riders would be. It looks really committed now. Two of the girls already sending the big jump. Yeah, impressive to see that. Thought perhaps after Tani not having quite enough speed of it. Yeah, yeah. massive run. It's Tani Seagrave we're talking about in the hot seat. But Marine Cabro really grew through that 2019 season. Runs with the World Championships. Second in the World Cup overall for Tracy Hanna. Started there, came to come into this season, actually a separated shoulder means that she didn't race many of those French nationals. Then a positive COVID test actually took her out of action for another couple of weeks. But it looks like it's all come good here today. This is the uh, Marine Cabro we expected to see in 2020. Just the finish line jump then, grabs all up the face of that. But that is now the time to beat. 13 seconds into the lead, 3.43. Three to go. And now it's Loris Bergier. Fastest in time, dear, earlier in the week. Third in the fast parts yesterday, fifth in the technical. This looks very clean as well. Yes, yes, that's just as good as Remy up there through that first turn. And this man was fastest at those World Championships before he crashed out. Looks like it must be French for that top section. <laughs> Maybe Claudia. So, split coming up. And it's green oh! by nearly a second for Loris Bergier. Well, this would be three Santa Cruz riders. The Syndica riders inside the top five if he can do it. Still well, a long way down, but that is. was super fast right there as well. We'll see right now what it is. Had a massive crash coming off this fire road here a year ago. Fastest through the rocks. Even Look at through. that. Wow, two tenths faster than Bruni through the rocks. Vergier is on fire here. He said it's time for the old guard. He's not old, but for the established riders to take oh. control again. Big slide there. <laughs> no problem for Vergier. Full commitment here. Is he going to be further into the green? Yes, 1.5 up there then. Well, whoa, look at this. Whoa. Off camber, no problem for him at all. The speed of him down there is ridiculous in, these, in this wet, slippery going. Keeping that momentum all the way. Now, see, even in the rut here, lost no time problem. There. He lost some time there. He had to pedal no to come out of that corner. Though. No, nah. not a second and a half, I doubt. But Tyrion rode that turn so well. Yeah, but he did ride this one so well. Let's see. 2.1. Oh, yeah. Extending. Look at that. Pulls out another 0.6 of a second. Four podiums in 2019 of the World Cups for this man. You might feel that this could be Vergier's season. Whoa, railed it. Railed it at the very limit. So Vergier surely going to go fastest then. Over two split seconds into the green of split four. This race coming to life with these last few riders. The 310 of Tyrion is in jeopardy. Very 
Rogier goes fastest. Oh, it's a 307. 2.65. Oh, but it's huge margin, I would say.